Okay, fourth floor. Hi. Hi. Are you David? You must be Bridget. How's he doing? Bridget, I have to talk to you. Okay. I lied to you. What do you mean? Michael is in there, and he is gonna die. But there wasn't any car wreck. What? Bridget, Michael has AIDS. You should have told me on the phone. They were, they were just afraid that you wouldn't come. Of course I'd come. Of course I'd come. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Why didn't you call me earlier? I don't know. I'm glad to see you now. So I guess, uh, I guess it wouldn't be <clears throat> the right thing to get angry at you right now for missing my last play. <laughs> with a man when I was in high school. We just found out that he died of AIDS. So, Bridge, I may have been infected before I met you. The thing is, You may have been exposed. I don't know what to say. I, uh, I just want to, uh, forgive me? Mikey, there's nothing to forgive. I need to know that you've been tested. I, I have and I am. You have. You have been. Really? Really? You know, Bridget, I was thinking about moving out anyway. I'm just doing it sooner than later. Right. We're still friends. Hi. Hi. I'll call you next week. I just wanted to come by and see, um, see how you were. Well, my roommate just moved out. What do you think? Shit. I'm sorry. God, I'm so sorry. I really have to go call my sister. When I first found out that I was infected by my son's father, I felt, you know, and, and coming here has really taught me that it's okay to feel what I feel. Thank you, Corinne. Okay, you guys, we're gonna take about a 15 minute break. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about dating issues and long-term relationships. Relationships are bullshit anyway. Yes, These guys are out there lying to their wives. Why should I tell them the truth? You don't tell the guys you sleep with? Then you're no better than the fucking whores on the street who are infecting their tricks on purpose. Fuck you. Infecting no. Their tricks on so purpose. what? 
Hey, I don't why don't you try keeping your pants up? Why don't you try to have sex so bad? No, why don't you shut up? You don't know anything. Oh, yes, I am a little late. It was a very bad day at the office here. Bill, can I have a cigarette? Yeah, sure. Are you drunk? I'm drunk on life. <laughs> Thank you. You don't smoke? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't smoke. But, uh... Thank you. But I did smoke in high school. I did smoke. I did. I was a social smoker, though. I wasn't, like, a real addict. And then in college, uh, I was at a bar in college uh, with Michael. You know, and we, we were, like, friends for a while, but there was something there, but it hadn't happened yet. And I went to light a cigarette, and, uh, and he said, lips that touch cigarettes will never touch my lips. So I quit. Bridget, why don't you come over here and lie down for a little bit? No, I don't want to lie down. I don't have time to lie down, but I will have another drink. No, you will not have another drink. Oh, do you want me to get my own glass so we're not sharing a glass? Because I can get my own glass. Okay, you want my glass? Here's my glass. Take it. <laughs> God, it's like a fucking morgue in here. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower because <clears throat> I feel disgusting. And uh, I'll just be a few minutes and then we can eat. Why don't you guys, like, you know, have a conversation? Adam, you can uh, ask Kareen what sex with infected people is like. She had a seizure. Um, they think it's tuck, so she's really weak. It doesn't look good. Shit. What's that? Music <gasps> girl. Uh -huh. It might just make you well. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I do. You don't want to go through this alone. doing? Not so good. How are you doing? I'm okay. You tired? Yeah. I'm real tired. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me take over from here? Night. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. As long as you promise to be there for me when it's my turn. Get out of here. <laughs> 